It is Puerto Rico's fourth annual Casals Festival. By late June, the evenings are sweltering. Even with air conditioning at full capacity, the heat is uncomfortable. The humidity concerns the musicians more seriously. It affects their instruments. Tonight's guest artist is Maureen Forrester, renowned contralto. The concert will be broadcast throughout Latin America, televised, recorded, and filmed. Tonight, orchestra and soloist will be conducted by Alexander Schneider, musical director of the entire festival. Miss Forrester will sing a hymn to the Madonna by Domenico Scarlatti, a setting of the Salve Regina. 200 years ago, the hymn was lost. The manuscript was only recently discovered, and this is to be its second known performance. Station WIPR San Juan carries the concert to another festival audience where the sounds of the carnival of San Juan Batista and noises from the old city compete with the music. During the four years, they have heard Eileen Farrell, Jan Pierce, Sirkin, Kemp, Segovia. The invitation to the festival was extended a year ahead of time. The Scarlatti music arrived three months in advance. Eugene Cash, the singer's husband, is a violinist and conductor. To him, it is all familiar. He, too, knows the anxieties of appearing before a critical public. But still, I don't like this low note. I mean, you know, you know what I find? If I make it too light, it gets, you know, it gets a little nasal. Yeah. Without any any bottom in the note. Yeah. I mean, if you attack it, what I say, light, but it must have resonance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of sa mm -hmm. sa. Each new work is analyzed with her teacher, Bernard Diamant. It was Diamant who told her at the outset of her career. But you are not a soprano. You should be singing in a lower range, contralto. That's it. Hello? Darling, I just wanted to phone and wish you all the best. And toy, 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 who's going, who's going to spit behind your ears there? Casals, I hope. Probably Alexander Schneider, though. <laughs> Three times behind the left ear, then nothing happens. 
John Newmark is her accompanist and a family friend. Practicing lessons. Uh, I just suddenly realized this morning I don't think I have enough luggage. Have to run out sometime this afternoon. We only leave tomorrow, you know. Haven't picked up the tickets yet. <laughs> what about your diet? <laughs> what about my diet? <laughs> well, are you taking this stuff down? Um, I think I will. I'll try it. Since I'm, not, I'm sort of on a holiday on the first part of my trip, you know. <laughs> I'll take a chance, then have to have all my clothes altered. Four glasses a day and you don't have to... It is Newmark who tours with her when she presents leader and art songs. Their concerts have been called phenomenal. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, sweet. Toy, toy, toy. Bless you. Their three children, Paula, Gina, and young Daniel, are going with her. It is a rare occasion, only possible because their father is free to take a holiday and come too. Now wait till you see A, flight number P12, now departing from B5. There's a dime. The island was discovered by Columbus and colonized for Spain by Ponce de Leon, the first seeker of the Fountain of Youth. The Caribbean, once called the Spanish Main, warms its southern shore and keeps the climate fair. From its earliest days, frequent visitors have been attracted by the exotic island. They named it Puerto Rico, rich port for its luxuriant appearance. But there were other riches which attracted the pirates and Sir Francis Drake. The old fortifications are now the palace of the governor, Munoz Marin, son of Munoz Rivera, the last of the Spanish governors. A reception is held in the palace gardens each year for the performing artists by the governor and his wife. Hospitality in Puerto Rico is marked by a courtliness which is reminiscent of old Spain. But a modern democracy governs here, and Munoz Marin is a poet as well as a determined politician. Your Excellency, I hear that you were a poet. There's too much alcoholic content in the dark. A poet never was a poet. He is a poet. You were a poet. Have you ever been involved with a musician with your poetry? No. No? But in Latin America, almost every person engaged in politics has written a poetry poet, one time or another. I used to occasionally sneak some poetry in my messages to the legislature. <laughs> it was Munoz Marin who persuaded his government to support the Casals Festival. Any, any uh, big thing that any country has to think about, to solve, it's got to have a poetic core. If it hasn't got a poetic core, it isn't big. Sometimes it's hard to find the poetic core, but it's, it's, it's there. The University of Puerto Rico is in San Juan, the capital. The campus is the center of festival activity. Performances, as well as daily rehearsals, take place in the university theater. Scholarships to the festival are available to music students, but all students are admitted without charge to hear the music being rehearsed. Ja, 
buenísimo. The Festival Orchestra is a select group which exists for only three weeks each year. It is made up of first desk players from the finest American symphony orchestras with representatives of the Puerto Rico Symphony. Invitations are coveted. Boys, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce to you Maureen Forrester. I'm sorry, I'm terribly sorry, but you met her all already, you know. <coughs> now, very light and really possibly only articulate very well, you know, but practicing piano. <laughs> very light. Three, four, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bit more. A little more first time. A little more digit now, yeah? And second to, as I answer, a little bit more, yeah? One. Not so loud. Company now. Maureen Forrester was born in Montreal and received her entire musical education in Canada. From her debut in Montreal, her fame grew international as she impressed the conductors she worked with. Armandy, Barbaroli, Wallenstein, Markevich. She was most honored when Bruno Walter engaged her to sing in his farewell performance with the New York Philharmonic. Her worldwide acclaim was made evident at the United Nations. <laughs> Schneider, she calls a deer. Light. He is generally thought of with affection, for his demands are made out of great enthusiasm for the music. Enthusiastically, he organized this festival. Though behind it stands the figure of Casals, it was Alexander Schneider who, ten years ago, went to Casals and declared that if he would not leave his retirement in France, Schneider would bring the musicians to him. They came and they performed the first Casals festival. Now, very warm to the time. Second one, what's wrong? I'm sorry, don't change both there. You're going the phrase. Ta ti ra di di in one.
forte. No, I want a chord, no, a chord, articulate. Forte and articulate each chord, yeah? Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. After the fermata, yeah? That's right. The prayer reads, Weeping in this veil of tears, we call to you, O sweet Virgin Mary. is American territory, about three and a half thousand square miles in area, quite small. On this island, there are nearly two and a half million Puerto Ricans. Agriculture used to be the only industry. Sugarcane, tobacco, coffee, bananas, and the traditional way of life is still strong. Nowadays, more people live in cities and enjoy the leisures of a more industrial society. They have raised their life expectancy by 20 years in two decades. A Puerto Rican can now expect to live to be 60. Every big thing a country has to solve, says Munoz Marin, must have a poetic core. There is a Spanish poem quoted by Pablo Casals. It is on the firm soil of our native land that we must place our feet in order to take flight to heaven. Don Pablo is frequently backstage. Even at 84, he performs in the festival and conducts some of the concerts. Wherever he goes, for him there is affection and veneration. His presence attracts artists from all over the world to work and perform for the great Casals. George, yes, you should be over. I don't think you get it. I'm looking forward to doing it very much. She's saying today is Calabria. I wish you should have been. That's really incredible. Casals was born in Spain, but his mother was Puerto Rican. Martita, his young wife, is Puerto Rican too, and they live now permanently on the island. 
They met when she went to Prague in France to study with him. He refused to live in Spain, to perform under a dictator. The only weapons I possess are my cello and my conductor's baton. They are not very deadly, but I have no others, and I do not wish to have any. I am not a politician, I am simply an artist. But the question is whether art is to be a pastime, a toy for men to play with, or if it should have a deep and human meaning. The festival is Casal's gift to his adopted people. <laughs> After the day's work, a cafe is a place for the performers to gather. They talk of music and those who make music. It is an opportunity to hear stories of the maestro from someone who's known him intimately for years. That after the first time, Casals and Matita, they came to Puerto Rico and they came back to, to France, to Prades, you know, where Casals chose after he left Spain, his exile home. And Matita was going to the post office and sending a wire, I mean a telegraph cable, big, uh, exact a cable to Puerto Rico. And the uh, official post office man, you know, she was writing out Puerto Rico, you know, sending, you know, the cable to her mother. And this man said, Puerto Rico, have got it. <laughs> Never heard of Puerto Rico. <laughs> we have Costa Rica. Puerto Rico Portugal. doesn't exist. Puerto Rico doesn't, we haven't got it in the booth, Puerto Rico. If Costa Rica we have, we can send a cable, but Puerto Rico doesn't exist in the world. You have a mistake. There, you know, you must be mistaken. And she said, I'm not mistaken. She puts more on there. I'm not where I'm sending it. No, I'm sorry, madam. It's we not have got Since Casals has been here, it has been changed, the post office book. <laughs> Yeah, he's a Puerto Rico now. Oh in the post. of the concert has arrived. For Eugene Cash, it has been a busman's holiday, seldom away from the sound of music, but he has been able to see more of the children and Paula has learned to swim.
Fantastic. All right, so good. Go, go, no, 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 not yet, not yet, no, not yet. Go, 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 go. She leaves with an invitation to return the next year. Montreal is only six hours away.